Hi FlossTube, welcome to my second uh, FlossTube video. My name is Charlotte or Clue Cross Stitch. Welcome! Uh, in this video I am going to give you a whip update and a bit of haul and if it's not too long I may show you a little bit of my um, stash, just the hand dyed fabrics that I have. <laughs> so we'll get straight into it. In my last video I said that I was working on Moana uh, for my sister, which is true. Um, I worked a little bit on that. I also said that I was a one whip person. Once I finish one project then I'll move on to the next. That sort of went out the window. Um, sorry, there, there's the ums again. That went out the window. In our office, a comment was made um, about the state of the cushions um, on the sofa that the clients sit on. And a comment was made, so uh, we've decided to get some new cushions and some new cushion covers. And it was discussed that maybe we should do something that the boss would like rather than just plain cushion something that he would appreciate so we've decided that we'd cross stitch I that I would cross stitch some cushion covers for him so we had a look round and we decided on two ships so I'll show you that in a minute but my first one I did work a little bit on Moana. Um, I can't, I don't know how to insert a picture, so I will show you on my phone. It's not the best picture, unfortunately, there will be a little bit of glare. But this is my, that was my progress the last time you saw her. So I hadn't completed a, a lot, the, the hair wasn't done, she was missing an eye, so she was a little bit freaky. And this is my current, this is how far I've got on her now. I worked on another, it was just one more weekend on her. And then I moved on to my next project. So as you can see, I finished all her hair. And Pua, her little pig, has started to appear. I've completed her face, so she's not looking freaky anymore, but I can say that Pua down here does look a little bit scary. So I've been working more on the top half, nothing has been done down here. This is what she will look like. So I've done the hair, which was that here. And I've started on Pua. I've got all the pink background to do. I'm not doing the name at the top, she doesn't want the name at the top. So it will just be down here. So that progress was probably about a weekend. So we chose on we decided on the cushions that we that I'd stitch two. The first one we decided on would be this. It's just a ship by a kit by Royolis. What I didn't realise when I brought this kit is that the fabric that you, the, the, not the fabric, the cotton that you get with it isn't proper DMC or anything like that. It's more, it's a fluffy, it's more woolen rather than a thread. I don't know if you can see that. It's fluffy, sort of fluffier. Um, it is different to stitch with, um, I have got used to it, I think I do prefer the DMC threads that I use in the other kits, but no, so that's what it will look like, and this is my current, this is a month's work on this, I've done um, a page, it's 
probably about a page finish on there. I don't know if you can tell what it is yet. <laughs> Obviously you've seen the picture. You've got a nice flag up here. There'll be another flag about here. I'll need to go down to the bottom. That will be made into a cushion cover. So those were two, my two main whips. I worked on Moana for a weekend and then the rest of the time I have been working on the Riolis kit. Uh, when I was going through my stash the other week, um, I found a half finished uh, kit from a magazine, just a small one. Uh, it's this one. Christmas kit is from uh, the world of cross stitching I can't tell you which magazine it what issue it was but I know it was last year so I've been working on a little bit of that during my lunch breaks and that's as far as I got when I found him he had a, he had had his ears done the hat and a little bit of his belly so I've done the green His arms and feet are coming along. So that'll be hopefully finished in the next couple of weeks. I only get um, a little bit of time stitching during my lunch break. So that's that's all the pro progress that I've done on that, on those. No finishes. But a new start. <laughs> and so now we get on to my haul. There is quite a bit of haul. I do apologise. So obviously the first bit of haul was the Riolis kit that I got. I think I got that from so and so. No, I got that one from Amazon. The second cushion that we that I will be stitching up for him for the office is HMS Victory. This was my next bit of haul. This one I did get from so and so. Comes with DMC threads the chart and obviously the fabric this is on even weave um it doesn't tell you what count even weave it is whereas i can't see it just says even weave this will be my first project working on even weave, so I am a little bit apprehensive, which is probably why I started the Rayolis kit first rather than the Victory. We, th we thought the Victory would be nice because we, we live, the office is located um, quite close to Portsmouth. Currently, we, we, the office is in the middle of, and it's between Southampton and Portsmouth, so we're quite close to the Victory. So it's a double whammy, he likes boats, he likes ships, and the Victory is very, very close. I've been there a few times myself, so that was... that um my next little bit of haul was a few needle minders uh i'm part of a group on facebook uh cross stitch friends in the uk and each month there is a different exchange going on and with a different theme so i partake in 
aprils which was an inchy so you stitch um, a design on an inch of fabric and display it how you want and for that you don't have to get anything out other than just that little stitch but you, you can add in other items for the, for your partner so I did, I brought, um, I brought her a needle minder, it is a cupcake one, she's received this all okay, so I won't say who it is in case she doesn't want me to, uh, I don't have a picture or with it here, she, as she has received it. So, that, but I couldn't just get one needle minder, so I did get a few of them. Uh, the first one uh, links into the flag that we've got hanging up and it is the treasure of Cortez from the Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl and this is from Denke Designs. She is on Etsy. She also has a Facebook page. What I love about her is that she there's a button on the back so it's easy to remove from the fabric. She is also, I recently found out, um, she does floss tube videos so I will be binge watching all of those. Um, I brought two needle minders from her. These were for me. The other ones were from somebody else but while I was on Etsy I thought I'd buy them. The next one is The Leaf of Lorien from Lord of the Rings. I love the paint and the design of that. And she included a little freebie, which you can't go wrong with a freebie. I mean, it was this adorable little elephant. Patchwork elephant. He's so cute. Cute. So, um, on there. I brought that, not that one. Um, obviously I brought the cupcake for my cross stitch exchange. Um, but I then also did buy uh, for my good friend Nat, who also cross stitches. We actually found ourselves on one of these Facebook groups. She messaged me going, oh. I'm local to you and I cross stitch. did you want to meet up? So we, I thought, yeah, why not? I don't know anybody else that cross stitches. This was a year and a half ago and we've become such good friends. We see each other weekly. Uh, we go to a couple of craft groups together and I love her. She's one of my very best friends. So uh, she loves clouds and rainbows and things like that. And when I saw these from Plan to Stitch, I knew that I had to get them so it's um comes in three parts you get the needle minder the scissor fob and a threader i know she'll love them so now if you're watching these here you go present if not then shh don't tell now and uh, plan one two three stitch did uh, plan plan sorry plan two stitch um also got a little freebie and it's this cute guitar guitar as i said you can't go wrong with a little freebie those were the needle minders that i got Uh, the next thing on the next thing that I got was uh, let's have a look what did we get um, I bought a lot 
of the siesta threaders thread organizers i absolutely love them with each one there is 20 holes 10 on each side And I've got these for my heaven and earth design that I'm working on, the uh, mini Evil Queen, which I haven't actually worked on for a while. And what I love about these is I will stick some labels on them and then have the symbol. I'll write the symbol on. And then once you've done with it, you just peel off the sticker and you can reuse them. So what I'm going to plan on doing with those is the sticker but have just one symbol for the two holes. So I'll cut the thread on there and then once I've used it on the heaven and earth any little bits that I can reuse again I'll add onto the other side so I'm not cramping up the one side like I have on this one as you can see on here I've got two different lengths of thread and it's just becoming a little bit too much so what I'm going to do is I'll have this, the long bit on one side and then I'll, once I've finished with the thread, this little bit would be put on the other side. So I got, because the heaven and earth use a lot of colours. I think the one that I'm working on is 84. I'm going to need nine of these. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. I've got ten of these, so I'll have one spare. These will be used for mini Evil Queen. Maleficent and I keep them on a hook so I don't lose them all. Um, I completely forgot that I ordered some so I've got another six here so I actually have 16. I bought 16 of these but I love them and I will use them for other projects as well with my Rayolith ship because it, the thread on here is that, that's all you get. If you do have a spare, you have some thread that you've done all the colour of in that little area. And, that, and you've got the spare thread, where do you put it? So I do have one on there. Of the little bits. I could possibly reuse just for one or two stitches if there's just random one or two stitches next bit of haul is when I was watching um, I found a few floss tubers that I really liked and I've been watched all of their videos uh, Gem Stitch was one, the other one was Crafty Creative Claire. Uh, she did loads of Joan Elliot. No, sorry, I'm so sorry. Teresa Wesler. And I was like, I really like some of her designs. And when I saw some of them, I, I went on eBay and had a look to see what ones there were and I fell in love with 
the carousel horses. Absolutely fell in love with the carousel horses. I found winter and summer on eBay. And I commented on Crafty Creative Claire's new video, floss tube video, saying that she's inspired me because she really has, so is Gem Stitch. And Claire commented and said thank you very much and that, and mentioned that there was a website that you could actually get the PDF versions of these. It was uh, Patterns Online. They have three of the four carousel horses. They have winter, summer and spring. I think. So I can currently get three, but I think. No, summer. They didn't have summer on there. But thankfully, I've managed to find winter and summer. So I do only need spring and fall. So I will be getting them at some point. So got those two. They will be there. I am part of Fabric of the Month Club from Chromatic Alchemy. And this month's April's was called Ostaria. Sorry if that's pronounced wrong. And it's this colour. It's absolutely lovely. It's got the greens and the yellows in there. How beautiful is that? It's got the greens, the yellows, a little bit of blue. I get it on 16 count Ada, 13 by 18 and it's so reasonably priced. I absolutely love her fabric. I've been part of her fabric of the month club for about six months now and I just love it. I love all her fabrics. I used one of her fabric last year on a wedding gift. I think I showed you in my previous video. Um, I used Maelstrom. And they are so lovely fabrics. So beautiful that I wish I could have them all. But as a compromise, I joined the Fabric of the Month Club, so my stash is slowly growing of these. So I'm part of two clubs. The first one is Chromatic Alchemy, Fabric of the Month Club, and the next one is a KLT Charting Thread Club. And you get 10 threads sent to you, a PDF chart emailed to you, and a free gift part of the thing, well, not a free gift but a little something as well in there. These were this month's DM3, DMC threads, beautiful blues and greens. If you're on there long enough you will get a full set and that's my plan, it's staying on there long enough so I do get a full set of DMC threads. Uh, so those are my next the little the extra the gift this month I am so excited about um, I've received um, in the past a little needle minder a card with a little bit of uh, just Ada on there uh, around Christmas she also throws in um, she got a little lollipop chocolate lollipop but this month um, I think is possibly my favourite so far and it's actually my first hand dyed threads from Jodery Designs. How beautiful. I've been looking at 
hand dyed the threads for a long long time but I just don't know where I'd use them and that so I, I never had the guts to do it so that was one I got three that one was Arctic Splash The next one was Scatty Chick. Look at those beautiful greens and purples. Blue, it's beautiful. Again, I won't know where I would use them, but they are lovely. So that one was uh, Scatty Chick. And the last one was Care Bears. <laughs> Look at the colours on those. It, it's amazing. They're so soft. So I'd, I'd love them. And so I think that one, this <laughs> this one was one of my favourites. Yeah. So those are my two club packs that I've received. My next little, it was um. I appeared in this month's uh, this month's sorry this month's cross stitch crazy in the letters for my Wallace and Gromit that I showed you in my previous video. I. And just part of that, I would, I unfortunately can't find my magazine. I must have left it around my mother's when I visited her. Um, but I was, can't see that, unfortunately. But I was part, I was in this issue of Cross Stitch Crazy. It says Grandad and Me for my Wallace and Gromit. And as part of that, you get a little free gift to say thank you for being part of it and this was a little Dutch Hound cross stitch kit it's my little free gift for appearing in that it's so cute I love dogs this is adorable my next little bit of haul uh, comes from a local charity shop. I went there twice this month. I really shouldn't have. So the first time I went, I, I tried to go there for the DMC threads because occasionally they will get a little bit in and they, they are 25p for some DMC threads, which is a brilliant price. So some of them are slightly old so I have to double check that they are still the right colour to the number but I managed to get uh, quite a few in this month, in this trip, the first trip so mostly yellows and browns so one, two, three, four, five, five, and five. Twenty-one. I managed to get twenty-one. I found twenty-one. So most of them are new ones. You can see, but there is a couple that are old. So I don't know what date they are, how old they are. They are DMC, as you can tell. They're slightly older. So before I bobinate and use these, I will just double check that they are still the correct colour to what the number says. Um, I also... Oh, 22. Um, I also managed to find some Krennic. This is a thick braid, Krennic. 
oh sorry heavy braid number 22 I got two of those sorry three of those two in pack one not in pack Twenty-three, twenty-four. My last couple of items that I got from there were a couple of charts. The first one was all tucked in and it's a lovely little dragon in bed. Look how cute. And this is... Um, Crafty Capers. And it is designed by Real Muscave. So I've got those. I, I lo absolutely love and adore dragons. So I saw this and went, oh, that's so cute. I must have that. And again, while looking through, I found another one. Five more minutes and Scales of Injustice. Currently in bed, asleep. That must be the five more minutes and then the Scales of Injustice. Look how cute he is. Check in his way. He doesn't need to. He's so cute and tiny. And again, I found these. They were 50p each. I couldn't leave them there. So that was the first time I visited the shop. Um, I then had a couple of days off last week. So I decided I'd go again. You know, out and about. So I thought I'd, I'd go. And I found loads of this plastic Ada in 14 count. Now I use this to make. Sorry. Sorry. These little cute key rings. So I'll attach a key ring up there. And this will be part of uh, the stool charity crafting. I'll be making some more of those now that I've got the plastic Ada. I've got quite a bit of that. And the smaller pieces were 15p each and the large piece was 25p. So you really can't go wrong for those prices. And they're all 14 count. So I'll be making some more of those key rings. Um... While I was there, I also found this Janlin Counted Cross Stitch. It is a Joan Elliott design. Unfortunately, it's not a full kit. It comes with the thread and the chart, but there is no Ada. But I'm pretty sure that I will have some in my stash for that. I couldn't leave it there. Look at the gargoyles. cheeky monkey gargoyles up there or at least I think they're monkeys so and um, that was £3.50 so next thing was just um, a magazine enjoy cross stitch um, spring 2013 issue 9 it's a few years old but it does include everything in the free gift it comes with the threads and the envelopes and that so I'll have a flick through that and see if there's anything that I want to stitch and the last thing I found was I. oh no, no I lie, I'm sorry I found some more Krennic so this one is 
001C. Silver uh, 008 blending filament, a beautiful green, and then there was an, another blending filament. I don't know what number it is because it's come off. It's a beautiful gold, and there's a bit of orange in there. And then there was also a few more of these. So I got them. You never know when these are going to come in handy. The last thing I got was this adorable Born Free cross stitch kit. A tiger pull. Full kit. And I couldn't leave him there. Look how gorgeous he is. I really couldn't leave him. And for £5 I really couldn't. He was just calling to me. And there was some woman in there that came up to me after I picked it up from one of the baskets that had that was full of the cross stitch, which was where that came from. And that came from. It came up to me and said, Oh, that I was gonna buy that and quite rudely tried to take it out of my hands even though it wasn't she hadn't picked it up she hadn't done that and stood my ground and no I, it's mine I'm keeping that it wasn't in your pile you hadn't picked it up it was still on the table I said no sorry she went I said I, I was like oh had you picked it up and put it in your pile and she went no I hadn't decided that I wanted it until you picked it up and it's just like well tough I've picked it up and I want it. I should, I'm on a kit ban so I really shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have, but I couldn't leave them there. So, that is me signing off. Until the next time, I'll show you my ne my fabric in the uh, next video, because I currently don't have it here, so I'll do that in my next one. So, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you for your support and all the uh, subscribers to my channel. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.